Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. Our combine is heading up across the field. Now it's got 37% in the tank, which is not a great deal, but what I thought I would do is if I race up here and actually unload the combine coming down through this way, then the combine's completely empty for a bit and we're not going to have to worry about it. And then we can go back up to our mower and we can finish just doing around the edges of the field that we wanted to do before we leave the mower to carry on and uh, finish doing the grass over there in the field. Because we, we kind of need that field to get done at a reasonable rate. We do want that field to get finished so that we can then go... Um, I, we we're going to need to bring the baler down here. We want to get the baler down here onto the straw and start getting all the straw off the field. Now, I know the combine's empty. I'm just going to follow it down a little bit further just so that we can keep it running a little bit more. Uh, you know what? It's probably all right like that. Is it going to go under the tractor? Nope. Okay, let me go up there. Do that. See, you got to be a bit careful with those spouts. You really do, because otherwise bad things can happen. Right, we'll leave that one there, and we want to go back up to this one. So I've got two bales that have, we dumped out there, remember? Oops, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um, let me start the baler up, and start actually... Let's leave the mower up in the air. Now, is that enough going across there? I think it probably is. So what I'll do now is start heading down across here. And this is the bit where our mower ends up causing us problems. Is up and down on this side. Now I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. And then I'll come all the way back up again. And depending on how much I've picked up, I don't know if I'll do that again. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we've got in the baler, because right now, going down here, the mower is doing that really, really annoying thing that it does right there that I really don't like. That's, that's one thing that I really intensely dislike, is the mower doing this. And I've no idea why. People have told me that they also experience it. There's no re- I mean, look. Look, I'm not really going downhill very much. So I don't know if this is actually... Oh, the mower has stopped. Okay, I don't know why the mower stopped then. It might be because the mower completely filled up. Decided that that was the limit of what it was able to take. But it really does frustrate me that it does this. It Like, that it does this at all. And I cannot understand why it does this. That there's no... In my mind, there's, there's no sort of real simple logical reason as to why it does it. You know, what possible thing could there be going on in the background that causes that? If anybody does understand the coding behind it, what is causing that? What What is it about the game? Is it something to do with the map? Because I've not experienced it on any of the base game maps. I've only ever experienced this on a mod map. Um, so is it something to do with the map, or is it something to do with the mod, uh, with the mower itself? Because this isn't a modded mower, this is a base game mower. But is there something there that causes it to do that? Or is it indeed just something to do with the actual map? Is there something to do with the way the map is made that it's not allowing the grass to be placed down? Because that's my suspicion is that the map is not allowing the grass to be placed there because I didn't I didn't have it like this not great big chunks of it like this but on the base game map on um, the Felsbrunn map when I was running the mower close to the road like really close to the road it would do it a little bit there but not great big long chunks of it like this it would only do a small bit. Now, I've got a lot of grass build it, building up in... There we go. Look, see, it's dumped the whole lot all out all at once. And that's what I don't get. Why is it doing that? What's going on there that's stopping it from being able to drop down onto the ground? Right, we've got a full grain tank over there that we need to go and take care of. But, quite frankly, I'd like to get this mowing underway. 
So I'm thinking that we'll focus on the mowing for a minute. And it wasn't in Felsborough and it wasn't anything to do with the, with the slope or anything. It was just because we were really close to the road. So is there something there? Was there something to do with the road that stopped the bale from being able to drop, from being able to be placed or what? Was, is that something to do with it? Now, there is one other thing I'm going to do. Because of how much has come out now, I'm going to switch to the baler like that. I'm going to switch it off and I'm going to empty that one bale out there. And then switch that baler back on. Oops, I'm going to do that. There. Right, and then we will carry on again. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of the hill again. And then I'll come back up. And hopefully, because over that side of the field, it doesn't do it. It's only over this side of the field near this road. And I'm wondering if there was previously on this map, whether he built a road into the map and then it's, uh, and then it was moved and we've got something to do with the road, which is why it won't allow anything to drop. All it's doing is this and right there, it stopped the mower from working again the whole thing with the mower stopping so is it something to do with the actual map is it the code of the map i don't know i know that there are some of you who are experienced at um doing modding and um just experienced at altering a few mods and stuff so maybe some of you have some idea as to what might be causing this i'm and i don't use seasons on this map but i am a little bit curious if uh, seasons would show up what is the problem like if we were to put snow on this map would that then demonstrate what's causing the issue right um, like if you you have snowfall across the entire map is it going to tell us what's going on maybe if I was to just mow and uh, leave the stuff on the ground would that show up I, I don't know I, I mean at the moment it, it I guess the only other one that I could do is rather than mowing is to actually plant an arable crop on here and see if it does it with the combine and the straw. Would that end up doing the same thing with the combine and the straw? It could be an interesting one to find out. I don't know, but anyway, I do know that it does bug me a bit and I would love to find out exactly what is causing this problem. Whether it's something to do with like the four times maps where you can only ted and rake hay in uh, one direction or two directions. You can't go um, in quite a number of other directions unless something specific has actually been done to the map to prepare it beforehand. Right, we're going to have a big clump of grass dropped out again. Any second now. Going to dump another huge, there we go, look. Massive, great, big lot like that. Why? Why is it doing that? There's, there's got to be something here somewhere that's causing this. And it's stopping the mower as well. Right, when it does it with a huge, great, big lot like that, it stops the mower. The, the, the mower just completely stops working. And that's, to my mind, slightly even more confusing. Right. I've done as much as I need to do up through there. So let me lift that mower up a minute. And then I'm going to back it down here. I'm going to try and get it onto that point right there. And then I'm going to press H. And I think I need the weighted wheels on here. But this is probably all right. And I'll put that up to there. And then we can let it start doing its work. Right, I'm going to leave that one going. It's going to take a minute or two to start sort of figuring out what it's doing. And I want to go to that one. And I'm going to turn it out like this. And then I'm going to go and get my... Oops. Go and get my tractor. And I'm going to take this one unload what grain I can because I won't be able to take all of it and then I'll put the combine straight back into the field while we go and unload the grain and then uh, once we've unloaded the grain we'll come back and we can unload a little bit more off of the combine once it comes back up across the field at least that's what I'm hoping so let's jump back onto this one 
like that. I'm going to turn it round a little bit. Go up there and just get up to this end of it a little bit. There we go. Load all of that in. Done. Right, you're all done. That's as much as I can put into there. I've still got 32% on this load. So I suspect that we're not going to get everything. Um, I'm not going to be able to like do another complete run. I suspect that we're going to stop up here somewhere. We'll have to wait and see. Right. It's going to go up to the end of the field and then he'll run down to that end of the field and then he'll stop part way up on his way back through which means that we'll have to back him out of the crop again in order to be able to unload because we're not going to be doing the whole driving over the crop thing I know a lot of you didn't like that so I'm specifically steering away from that I'm going to be a good boy and I'm not going to do it let's get this unloaded how much have we got now let's have a look we're up to 97,098, 99, 100,000 litres there. So we've got 102,000 litres at the moment. Where was my number written down? 58,000. So, so far, we've got 43,000 litres off of the fields. Uh, we got quite a bit of the field to go still. 43,000 litres. Is that... Ooh, you know, we might catch that combine. If we really go for it, we might catch that combine before it gets down to the end of the field so we can actually unload it. Because it's not going to get all the way back up across. Go on, pedal faster. Need you to pedal faster because unless the spout actually gets all the way out, the combine won't stop. The combine will get to... No. There, see? It gets to there. And it won't... Right, I caught it, just, just, but it does it, it'll put the spout out, but it won't actually stop unless you get underneath the spout itself to start unloading it. So you've got to be really quick off the mark to be able to get that one, um, at least you do if you get right down to the end here. But we did it, it's okay, everything is all, you know, it's, it's all tickety-boo, all is well with the world. That finished unloading there, right, you're done. So I'll take this trailer back over this way a little bit. Um, 43,000 litres so far. The estimate was about 83,000. I think that's going to be about right. Looking at how much we've done so far. And how much we've got left to do. I think that that's probably not going to be too far off. Now. How are we doing with our ridiculous mower scenario this this whole thing with the grass is really starting to frustrate me really annoys me that it does it and this is why I want to know why it's doing it if I could like at least understand why it was doing it then maybe just maybe I could well I, I don't know if there's anything else but you know at, le at least at least understanding why it does it, I then, I, I generally get less frustrated by things. I, I, mostly I get frustrated by things because I don't understand them. And once I do start to understand things and how they work or why they're doing what they're doing, um, I find, I, I, I generally find them to be less frustrating. There's something about it that just, like, something about understanding that removes that frustration from me completely because right there look we got a big chunk of it right there it's stopped completely so where's it going to drop that grass it last time i think it dumped it out there on the road because I'm, I'm still traveling along and it's got the grass why would it dump it out there it's dropped it right down there what's the good of that what possible advantage is that to anybody, anywhere, for any reason whatsoever? Well, come on game, tell me. Why are you doing this to me? You're, you're, you're deliberately tormenting me with this. And I don't know why. So I, my suspicion is that it is something to do with some form of mask or something that is on the map itself. Uh, other people have reported things like this in different places on different maps. And they've had it on a number of different maps uh, with a number of different mowers. So I know it's not the mower. 
And I know that it's it's not just down to the mower because of the fact that it happened with me on Felsbrunn right up against that road. Now, I said it didn't happen on base game maps. I've never had it happen on the base game maps in the middle of the field somewhere. We did catapult that bale off there. We want to just watch that one in a second. Um, in the middle of the field, it only did it going down next to a road. And that was an item... That was a placeable... It wasn't a road like this. It was a placeable road. So it was one that was placed down on the map. And it was... Uh, you, so you weren't able to landscape it, which made me think that's why it was doing that. That's why I think it was sort of working along those lines. But I'm not quite sure. Right there, right, we've gone a little bit further on. And then we come down here and... Now the mower is completely full, and I suspect it's going to stay full. But I do come over that and pick up that grass there, and then the mower's going to come out, and you wait for it. It's going to drop this grass down here somewhere. It's going to dump it. There's grass in the mower. I know there is. Right now, there's grass in there. And where's it going to put it? Okay, is it... Well, it dropped a tiny, tiny little bit of something there, but it didn't... Unless it dropped it out on the heap that it went and picked up already. That might have been what happened. Because it did pick up a heap there. Combine is full. I'll go and deal with that in a second. I just want to see what's... There we go. There's the heap, but it's not done it as much that time. And it's moving. and it's So it looks like there's an area painted onto the field that is causing it. So there's something on the field, and this goes back to my thinking that there is a mask or something that is actually in the map creation, and that is what has caused it. So if I can find out what that is, might even be able to edit the map a little bit to try and remove that bit, because it's seriously frustrating. Now, let me get underneath me combine here. Start unloading there like that. It will back up a little bit, and away we go. Right. I run this all the way down through here, and I'm going to follow on... Well, I'll probably end up following most of the way down the field to empty the combine anyway. But I think if I follow the combine all the way down to the end of the row, that's going to get us almost a full trailer load, so then we'll go and empty that out anyway. And the 80,000 litre guess, I don't think that's far off, right? I'm still 9%. It's still not emptied out the combine properly. Most of the way down across the field before it actually emptied. And we're over 7,000 litres in the um, trailer now. It's quite impressive, actually. That's an impressive amount of grain that we got in there before we got to the end of the row. So I'll let that one do that bit. And I'm going to go up here and empty out again. So there's another 7,000 litres. We were just under 102,000. Uh, this is going to take us up to 109. Um, which is... Hang on. I lost my... Uh, I lost the number. I lost the number. Hang on. Wait, well, uh, let me get over onto the thing here so that we can start unloading. So I can... There we go. Right. We'll stop right there. And... That number is the magic number, 58337. Easier if we just called it 60. Right, 58337. Uh, there, that's what I'm looking for. Um, 51,000. 58337-ish. 51,000-ish so far. So we've almost one more trailer load and we will have matched our load that we got from the last one. Now that's 30% in the combine right now. So in theory, it will be 60% when it gets down to the other end. Then it'll come back up to make 90%. And then there'll be a little tiny bit left as it heads down across the field again. But just to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to follow it down. And I'm going to unload a bit more off of this one because I'm not sure that it's going to end up being exactly that amount. It could end up causing us a problem or two. So if I follow this down, what I can do before we finish doing the combining, I could go round the outside edge of the field with the rake 
and do one round with the rake just to tidy everything up. And then once I've done one round with the rake, um, we'll wait until the combining is finished and then we'll be able to go around with the baler. Do that one round, get that one out of the way. Move the bales like we've done before. And then we can just set the hired help going with the rake. Because it's a lot easier if we do it like that. Otherwise, um, it sort of makes a little bit of a mess over on the ends of the row. Now, I'm going to bring you back over here. What are you doing over there, Mr. Tractor? Let's take this one down this way a little bit. So that we don't have so far to run. Take it to about here, like that. I'll stop that one there, and then go up to you. Now, what are you doing? You you are picking up the stuff now. And looking on the ground here, there's a clump of grass over there. And it looks like there's clumps of grass around where it hasn't been dropping the stuff on the ground. But now we've pretty much got to... There's There was a clump. There was a bit that wasn't um, picked up properly. And now it stopped again, right there. So it does, it looks like there's a circular area here. You can see where the lines are where it's dumped out the bits of grass. But it looks like there's a circular area here on the edge of this field that it's stopped it from placing stuff down. And there is the next bit, there's the next marker on it. So I reckon there's something on this map. There is a, a, a mask or something underneath that little area there, and that is what is causing it. That's what's stopping the mower from being able to drop the grass. I don't know what's causing it. I don't know what that mask would be. But if that's the case, I might actually be able to do something about it. I mean, I probably need to go and um, look up a video or two. But I reckon there's something there that is hit that's on the map that is causing that to not, uh, you know, it, it, that's causing that issue. And I reckon that's something that would be reasonably simple to fix in theory. If it's like a, just that circular patch there, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to fix. Now, of course, the big question is, would it do the same going in a different direction? Right here, we we'll just come into the edge and there it goes and it should drop it. There, it's dropped it already. So that was pretty close. So yes, it's definitely a circular bit. And then down here, it's, it's not got it. It seemed to be. Although I think there was a bit over on that side nearer the road. So whether there's still some down this way. No, there doesn't seem to be. Uh, and it now looks like... Right, we've gotten down to the end of the row here. Big question. Have I cut enough across the top to stop the baler from actually making contact with the straw down there? And it looks like I have. It looks like it's going to ignore the straw down there. We're on 75% on that combine. So you carry on up the hill. Uh, oh, it stopped there. Okay, so it stopped going up the hill, but it didn't do it going down the hill. So maybe it's not entirely something to do with the map. Or maybe that bit is just because of the hill. I don't know. The mystery deepens. The mystery definitely deepens. There, there, is a, there is an absolute mystery about this. And it would be rather interesting if we could get to the bottom of it. So if anybody has got any clue whatsoever, please get into the comment section and tell me. Does anybody have any idea why it's doing it? I know I've asked before if anybody else has experienced it, and I know that several of you have, because you, uh, quite a number of you responded and said, yes, I've had this as well. So I know it's not something that is unique to this map, and also because of my experience with Felsbrunn, where it was up against the road, but that bit made me think that that was a mask, and it's to do with that bit of road, where they'd stop the stuff from being able to land on the road. So I think that was to do with that. Um, but has anybody else, you know, it, it, not has anybody else experienced it? Because I know a lot of you have. You've already told me that. But does anybody have any clue as to why it's doing it? This is the next question that I would like answered is why. And I always think that why is one of the most important questions there is. That is always, in my mind, one of the most important questions to answer. It's not what is happening or when or how. Uh, or how is 
you know, fairly important. But why? Why is the single most important one to answer? If you can answer why, then you're sort of three quarters of the way there. And I'm saying that some of you may actually recognize that particular bit because, um, I mean, I didn't do it intentionally. I only re realized after I'd said it. But that is pretty much a speech that is given in a film that was made several years ago. It was a reasonably popular film. Uh, quite a popular film, actually. Um, I always thought it was an excellent film. I really liked it. Um, not as good as some other fil similar films, but it was still a magnificent film. And if anybody can tell me what that film is, that would be really cool. So if you, if you know the film where a person is talking about not the who, what, why, or when, but the why. Uh, not the who, what, why. The, not the who, what, how, or when, but why. If you can answer why, then you hold the power. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to say anything more about it because I'll give too much away. Um, but does anybody recognize what that film was? It'd be really cool if you did. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll, um, I'll heart any comment that um, says what it is. And uh, I, say, I, 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 I don't generally reply to comments over the weekend. Um, I will go through some of them and I will put a heart on a few comments here and there. But with it being the weekend, I generally just avoid the comments altogether. Um, and I know that this video goes out... Uh, this is Saturday's video, isn't it? So, um, yeah. Uh, but I will look briefly on Saturday just to see if anybody's got the film. And if you have, I'll put a heart on the comment. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to see if anybody does get that film. It'd be very cool if you did. Now, I'm just going to take a little tiny bit more grain because I think that we're about to go a full long length of the field. So I'm going to drive back up here a bit. Our uh, tractor and baler seems to be doing all right at the moment. He's still doing what he's doing. I'm going to go up to here. Yeah, I don't know. He could, in theory, go all the way up across the field, but I don't know if he's actually going to do it. Oops. Uh, I want to go up here. I just want to check on this one. He right, seems to be doing all right. We've got a little bit of a, um, a gap that's been left. But that's okay. For the most of it, for the most part here, he seems to be doing just fine. He's going along. He's picking up the grass. He's dropping the grass as well. More importantly, the mower is actually leaving the grass behind now. Seems to be leaving all of the grass behind. It's leaving it behind going down through here. Still leaving it behind. All right, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's go to the combine then. Are you going to follow the field or are you going to try? I think it's going to follow the field now. Yep, there we go. Because if it didn't follow the field, it would struggle to actually turn round on that bit. That's why I thought that it would almost certainly follow the field and go all the way up to the very top end. So we're going to go all the way up here. So we've just got this little bit left. It's like pretty much we're down to the triangle. We, we haven't got long before we are down to just the triangle. 115,000 on there. Um, yeah, I think that that 80-odd thousand uh, guesstimate is, is, is not far off, really. I, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to switch. No, I don't want to switch. I'm going to switch to you. I'm going to get this trailer turned around. And I'm actually not going to start unloading until it gets down to here. So let me go back to this one. Let's just watch the combine for a bit. Quite happy to watch the combine for a bit. This is actually, this is a cool combine. And you look at the details on it. You've got the, the movement of the stuff on the sides and on the header. Over here you've got the belt working up on the top there. And you've got the drive chain coming down the bottom with the knife going backwards and forwards. Like, the, the details that are actually operational on the Combine are pretty cool. I haven't got anything... Oh, there, there is a little bit... Un, uh, there, you've got drive wheels and stuff right in under there. See things moving in under there. See everything moving under this side. But generally, I think it's quite cool. Let's go. Let's get that one unloaded. And that's something that I've noticed with the models that they've built for... Um, most of the machinery for FS19, they seem the uh, 
Giant's attention to detail on the models is actually exquisite. It really is. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Yes, there's been a couple of errors here and there with um, like the wrong radiator or um, I think like incorrect wheel sizes and, and like really, really minor details like that. But those have been very, very quickly fixed and patched out. So yes, despite the fact that there has been the occasional little glitch problem with them, overall they've been absolutely wonderful now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to turn off the hired help because of it's not quite a full width on there um it's, it's slightly more than a full width i should say so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start it up and i'm just going to take out that corner there and then i'm going to stop it again i'm going to bring it back like that and I'm gonna bring it over to here and then I'm going to press H and I'm gonna let it go now I'm hoping that it's yes it is following it on the right side right that one's going to go to work there and it's going to do a magnificent job so it's now taking care of this long strip up to here and we've just got that triangle left on the field and we'll go over to you and we have a slight issue right let's turn you off a second Oops, I don't want to take the mower off. Probably will want to end up taking the mower off. No, what I want to take off at the moment is that one, because the only way we can really do this is if I use the mower and shove that bale out of the way. Lower the mower down a bit. Uh, well, I thought that I'd be able to do it. Apparently, it doesn't like this idea. There. That's a bit better. Bring that one out like that. And then I need to go back into this again. And there we go. Right. Shove that one out of the way like that. Spin on round a little bit. Hook you back on again. Start the baler up. Switch over to the mower. And I've got to make sure I line that one up properly. Bring you over to here. Kind of like that. And then press H. Right. Away you go, and that bale is out of the way. It doesn't look like the bale caused me any problems. And here, going up the hill, it's doing it. But it's only doing it, like, in a very small place. Because that's making me think that it's actually the steepness of the hill that is causing the mower to do it right there. The rest of it, up over on the top, that's making me think that there's some sort of mask over on the map that's doing it. So I think there's a combination of the two that is causing this problem. Anyway, that is all I've got time for today. So we'll have to finish the harvest and the grass in our next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.